Doug Quint is a professional bassoonist. Westchester Philharmonic, Brooklyn Philharmonic, Pro Arte Chamber Orchestra in Boston. And while studying for his doctorate at the CUNY Grad Center, little did he know he'd go from making sweet music to making... The Salty Pimp is our most popular comb by a lot. It's vanilla ice cream, dulce de leche, sea salt, and chocolate dip. We put a little bit of caramel. It's, it's good. It's really good. Doug, you see, is the owner of the wildly successful... and I can never come. My favorite's the, anything with the sea salt, and she loves the red Merlin. The strange thing is, for the first summer, everyone just looked at it and laughed. Now it's even stranger because they look at it and recognize it from TV. A few years ago, Doug was a freelance musician and student. And when I was finishing the comprehensive exams, I thought, you know, instead of traveling this summer and running around to summer festivals, I will just stay in New York and do some strange, completely unrelated to music job. That's when a Juilliard friend offered him a chance to be an ice cream man. What could be weirder than driving an ice cream truck? But he loved it. And because many orchestras were scaling back their performing schedules, in 2009 he bought his own used ice cream truck. Many swirls of vanilla and chocolate later, Doug found his niche, specialty toppings. Uh, this one is elderflower syrup. So in addition to vanilla ice cream with chocolate sprinkles, you can get vanilla ice cream with wasabi pea dust on it. Who comes up with these concoctions? My boyfriend and I, sort of 50-50. Doug's outgoing personality and masterful use of social media factor into his success. We had no idea that food trucks would be such a huge cultural phenomenon right now. That was just lucky timing. Um, the, the birth of Twitter coinciding with the truck and the fact that my sense of humor comes across well on Twitter. Today I tweeted, I'm going to be at Union Square from 2 to 5, moving uptown, and then I tweeted a, a line from uh, the Daniel Day-Lewis movie. I drink your milkshake! And his empire is expanding. Doug and boyfriend Brian Petroff have recently added the Big Gay Ice Cream Shop on 7th Street between 1st Avenue and Avenue A. It's really interesting that CUNY and this whole thing intersected the way they did because, I mean, I have a book contract now. We're working on Big Gay Ice Cream Book, and I wouldn't have been able to do that without the study skills I picked up working on my doctorate. And will Doug ever return to classical music? You know, I think my life has divided itself in half, the bassoon half and the ice cream truck half. And um, I'm sure they'll find a way to coexist, but right now, my head is split down the center. Banana split down the center. Oh. Yay, Barry Mitchell, study with the best.